guys, what is up? It's your girl Rachel with Nighttime Mommy Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the new Ninja Cold Press Juicer Pro. You guys, we're going to go over the specs, we're going to do a test, we're going to assemble it, the works, you know how the reviews go on my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed for more videos on reviews of new technology as they're released. And let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them as quick as possible. But let's get started. All right, so what do we have here? Now, when you receive your juicer, you're going to receive it in pieces. And what you have is your main body, your feed chute chamber, your tamper along with the food tray. And I'll show you how to assemble it. Within your feed chute chamber, this is where you will place your filter. Now, most models will come with three filters, but some of the models and I'm, it, it just notes it on the quick start guide. Not all models will receive the some pulp filter, but the ones that you will receive is the no pulp and the lots of pulp filter. So I guess it varies on what region or country you're in, I'm assuming. Then you have your juice jug along with your pulp container and a cleaning brush for the filters. They also give you your standard manual here and I've gone through it, or your owner's guide, along with your quick start guide, some tips and tricks in terms of which is the best filter to use, a little in quick start guide or ingredients if you wanna try one of their recipes here, a warning notice, and basically tips for the sun pulp filter and an inspiration guide for some recipes that you can try. When this whole unit is put together, it's 13.78 inches in length, 6.89 inches in width, 14.17 inches in height. Now, it is BPA free. The parts are dishwasher safe. The cord length is 31.5 inches long. And what I liked about it is that Ninja gives you this little Velcro to keep your cord together. So I'll see if I can zoom in there or show you guys. Oh, okay. Well, there is a Velcro there. And it allows you to keep your cord nice and neat. You also have, in terms of the wattage, the max it will pull is 150 watts. So it's pretty low in terms of drawing energy, so that's really nice. So let's get into the assembly of this unit. You have your feed chute, which is going to connect to the main unit. But first you need to decide whether you want your, which filter you wanna use, okay? This is removable, this is the auger, so for easy cleanup, you take this out, you can wash it. Place that in there. I'm showing you guys. I place the auger, it just goes straight through. Okay, you choose the filter that you want. So with the chute standing up or pointing up here, you want your filter to go with the filter side down. Slide that on top. Then you have your pulp spout. There is a little lock icon on here. And it basically says from here to here to unlock right here and to lock. You are going to turn your pulp spout counterclockwise and lock it into place. To remove, just turn it to the right and pull everything out. Similar to this, to assemble it on your main body, you're going to turn it to the right and get it in that unlock position. Turn it to the right, or turn it to the left. <laughs> so it's pointing to the right right now with the unlock position. Turn it to the left until you hear that click. To release it, you hold the release button, turn it to the right, and pull out. All right, after you have that put together, this is where you put your pulp spout there, your juice jug underneath, which holds up to 16 ounces, your food tray, or your feed tray, along with your tamper to press the food into the juicer. 
Here is where you'll want it open before you start juicing. So you want to turn it open so that the juice can start pouring out. When you're done, close the chute so that you, you don't have it leaking. And that's it. So now we'll disassemble it so that you can see the disassembly part. Just move the juice, take off the tray, and then close this, of course. Turn it, release. Now to take this apart, turn it to the right, pull the filter out, and that's it. So I washed all the pieces and I'm going to put this together now just to show you guys again. Now, if you say, Rachel, what filter, or how do I remember that one filter is for some pulp and one filter is for no pulp at all? If you look at the filters, the best way to remember is if the filter has large holes, it's going to allow more pulp in. If it has smaller holes, this one is going to allow for some pulp. If it, the holes are super tiny, it will not allow any pulp. So that's just a trick to remember, just in case you lose the stickers or the little tags, just a quick way to remember, okay? So I'm actually going to use the no pulp filter. So I'll plug that in, angle it to the right, turn it to the left, same thing here. All right. that underneath. I want the chute open because we're about to start juicing. And I'm actually going to start off with one of the recipes that is in the book. We are going to do the apple, pineapples, and celery juice. Now, one note that I did want to let you guys know while we're doing this is one of the cool things about this Uh, one of the cool things about this Ninja is that similar to its hot and cold blender, it has a safety feature that will save it from the motor blowing out. So let's say you're running too much in it. Instead of it just burning out the motor, what will happen is it will lock up and shut down. So don't get scared if that happens. It says it in the manual, and I'll show you right now. I'll put a clip up. But it basically says... It will lock up and shut down completely and then after two minutes you'll be able to resume using it again so you'll just want to clear out whatever's blocking up the motor from burning up essentially so it has that safety feature I think that's really nice and for the purpose of this video I do want to leave we're gonna run the whole juice cycle usually I'll I won't show the entire process because some people don't want to see the entire process but this device has it, it has claims to be not as loud as other juicers so I'll let you guys be the judge of that and we're gonna get started okay so the recipe in the book calls for three stalks of celery and two inch pieces so I have that half of a green apple I have that and one cup of pineapple. So this, when you start it, it will run up to 12 minutes continuously and then shut down. If for some reason anything gets stuck, you have, let me show you really quick, a hold to reverse. So in order to reverse it, you have to hold it, okay? To start it and stop it, you just press the start and stop button, okay? Let's get started. Oh.
still running that last piece of juice there. But it is fairly quiet. So I press the stop button. I'm going to close the chute. Take out that last of the pulp so we don't have a mess. There we have it. We have just about eight ounces of juice. We're going to mix it up here. Add that to a glass. Mm. That's actually really good. It's sweet and it allows you to have celery and apples and I actually think my kids would like this. <laughs> but it's nice and sweet and you heard the function or the machine itself. It's fairly quiet which I like and I mean it did its thing. So now I'm going to take it apart, clean it up, let's do another juice and we'll go over some of the things that ninja recommends with this uh with this juicer because there is a few notes that they reiterate and i'm sure they reiterate it because it's so important so when reading the manual and going through the guides one thing that i noticed is that ninja reiterates a few things and i'm sure it's because they want to make sure it does not occur so i will go over those things this particular juicer does require that you remove the pills for things like oranges, citrus fruits, melons, pineapples, beets, ginger, papaya, and there's a list here. Let me see if I can focus there. All right, the pill can remain on for ingredients such as apples, pears, peaches, plums, cucumbers, and carrots. For prepping fruits such as apples, you know, you just want to remove the stem, you don't have to remove the core, but the stem definitely. For fruits that have pits and seeds, like plums, peaches, cherries, papayas, lemons, melons, and peppers, they remove. They recommend that you remove large pits. Uh, and then they also say do not process frozen fruits and vegetables or ice. Also, do not process ingredients that do not contain juice, such as bananas and avocados. So those are the main things. They also have a note in their user guide that says do not run hot liquids and do not run liquid through this machine in an attempt to clean it out. That will not work, so please do not do that. And that's about it for the notes. We're going to go ahead and do the pulp filter for the a lot of pulp filter for orange juice so i'm going to remove the pills from some oranges and let's do it so what i have here are just three oranges peeled and small enough so that they could fit through the chute here they should fit yeah all right so we're gonna go ahead and start it Oh, I forgot to open the chute. Lesson learned, you guys. I was wondering why it wasn't going down. There we go. So very important, open the chute. I'm human, you guys. We all make mistakes.
that finish running through. Stop it. Close the chute. <laughs> now we got some fresh OJ. So I'll get a cup and check it out. So we got about 12 ounces of fresh orange juice. You can see. You can see the pulp in there. Just pour that into this glass. We can get it to focus. Oh yeah, pulp is in there. That's really good, you guys. I think I like fresh OJ better than the store bought for sure. And this way, you know exactly what's in your juice. So it's nice. Now to really play with it, I wanted to add in some leafy greens. So I have the sun pulp filter. I also have one cup of spinach. I have half of a cucumber with the peels on and half of a green apple. So we're gonna get started. Make sure your chute is open there. letting it finish run close the chute you got yourself a green juice just about four ounces with half of an apple half of a cucumber and a cup of spinach gave me four ounces of green juice there and go ahead and So it does say about one pound of produce will give you about eight ounces of juice. So that's something to keep in mind. Go ahead and try this one. That's really good. So overall, my review of this Ninja Juicer is, I personally love it. It's quiet, it's very affordable. For 129 and it's on the Ninja site, you guys, it shipped to my house in one day. I'm sure it varies on where you're located, but they shipped it out to me very fast. I'll have the link in the description if you wanna purchase it. Uh, you can use my link. It's no extra cost to you guys by using my link, but it helps me out and you know it's, it's supportive of the channel. So I appreciate it if you use my link if you decide to purchase the Ninja Juicer. I'll have the link in that description box below. But you guys, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I'm not too, I'm not an experienced juicer. So if there's something you want me to test or show you guys, let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to do that. You know, I will try my best to answer all of your questions as soon as possible. But you guys hit that like button if you like this video. 
Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more videos on kitchen reviews or kitchen appliance reviews on my channel. And you'll be notified when those get uploaded. But until next time, you guys have a great night.